back to my channel. My name is Julie Ambani, commonly known as Jules. On this channel, we love to talk about books, literature development, and a sprinkle of other things here and there. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Uh, today, I'll be continuing with my shelf arrangement. Literally, since the last video, I just stopped there, closed the room to the study room, stroke office room, and just went my way. So today I really need to get these books in order because it's giving me a bit of anxiety. I just left everything literally on the floor. I'll show you a small video. So this is how I left things last week. They've literally been in this room just chilling because I was just like, I'm too lazy, but we continue. So today we're going to continue arranging my bookshelf and now I'm going to show you african literature books that i've read because i think that's the next shelf that i'll be arranging then i'll also do my tbr pile yeah and then i think if time allows just maybe quick look at the other books but yeah let's go before i start i'm going to give a shout out to a master of jean which i found out that had been forgotten while I was arranging my fantasy books. This is a fantasy book based in Africa and actually top five of the books I've read this year just because of the authentic nature in which this was written. So a master of Jean, this was a book club read and I really loved that because the discussion was so wholesome. So now we'll move on to the African lit books that I've read in my collection. First, we have Love After Love. This was a nice Caribbean read. I think I had higher expectations from it, but that's not to say I didn't enjoy it. I actually loved this. Would 100% recommend it. His Only Wife. I have a dedicated review of this book because uh, I really recently finished it. I actually loved this a lot. Would recommend it for sure. Chintu. It's in my top five of the books I've read this year. 100% would recommend. 100% African. I love this. I love this book. It's historical fiction too. And I think there's a battle of the books with more detail about this on my channel. We need new names. This was a bit of a disappointment to me. I won't lie. I think I gave it three stars. I expected much, much more from this. <clears throat> The Girl with the Louding Voice, I loved this so much. I think I gave this a 4 or 5 star. I loved this book. I would 100% recommend it. Who Will Catch Us As We Fall? This is actually Kenyan authored. Mm, I gave it a 3 star. It was interesting enough. Nervous Conditions by Tsitsi Ndagarembag. Okay, Nervous Conditions, I can't really pronounce the author's name, but I loved this book. I gave it a four, four star. It's part one of a trilogy, but I've not heard good things about the other two books. So, but you can buy this. It works as a standalone as well. Dance of the Jacaranda by Peter Kimani, one of my favorite Kenyan books. Worth it. Well written, well edited. I love this book. A Man Who Is Not A Man. This was one of the most bizarre books I've read. I got this as an ARC. I don't know. It was just somehow there. Butter Honey Pig Bread. One of the most expensive books in my collections. I loved this book. I gave it a foster, I think. I really enjoyed the story, but is it worth the amount I paid for? I just think it was too expensive. That, that and I'll keep saying it. I'll keep saying it because I don't think I even gave it a five star, but I loved it. Still, it's a good book, but not at that price point. Delaware's Destiny. I talked about this recently. It's good. I like it. I would recommend it, but maybe wait for the paperback. Just saying. Home Going by Yagyasi. I gave this five stars. I loved it. Would recommend it. Mandate of the People by Margaret Ogola. This is Kenyan authored. I liked it. I got this in exchange for a review. It was okay. 
an american marriage by tayari jones i loved this one this sparked like difficult conversation like you know one of those books you ask yourself is if i was in the shoes of the main character what would i do i recommend this tayari jones is a good author Sexercise by Silas Nyanchani. This is a Kenyan authored book and despite the scandalous name, it's actually very well written. Uh, Silas is very, very meticulous when it comes to how he edits his books. So that one I will recommend. Mr. Loverman by Bernadine Evaristo. This was recommended to me by Joan and Frankie and I loved it. I enjoyed it. The main character, what was his name? Barrington, he was really cool. This was a good book, but as we all know with African literature, a lot of the time there's a lot of sadness, but it was good. The Return of Shaka by Major Mwangi, this I got as a gift from Lexa and it was good. I think I gave it like a four star. Yeah, it was a good book. The Death of Vivek Oji, I've talked about this book in detail on my channel. Yeah, I won't say much more about it. Stay with me. Good, but full of suffering and pain. Will I recommend it? Yeah, it's still a good book. When We Were Birds, I love this cover. I love it, I love it. I got this as an ARC. And yeah, I love this. Will recommend it. The Havoc of Choice, Kenyan author, uh, focused on the post-election violence of 20... 15 2007 my god 2007 and yes i love this i will recommend it so i'm going to put those on my shelf and then i'll be right back to talk about my tbr pile so as i was putting books on my bookshelf i found a few that i had missed so there's once there was a star this is a book by mesha kyobi one of my favorite kenyan authors Oopsies. This is how it looks. Really good. Then there is R for Rain. This is by Mona Ombogo. I also had book two, but I've lent it to a friend. This is Kenyan author, romance, interracial love. Actually, really, really good. So yeah, I'm going to put this through. Okay, so let's talk about unread books in my collection. This will have been an amazing video for an amazing idea for another video. Hmm. Ah, but I feel like I've mentioned some of them before, so no point to have repetitive videos. We'll kickstart it with Patsy. So for the unread books, there's nothing much I can say other than I've not read them. So we have Patsy. We have Black Moses by Alain Mabanku. This is actually a French uh, author who I really want to read his books in French, not in this translated version. But yeah, so I'm actually in the process of looking for his French books. Uh, the Stationery Shop of Tehran. This I've had so many good things about it, um, but I'm afraid to read it because it gives me Khaled Hosseini kind of vibes, which my poor heart, you know. Then Ghana Must Go. I started this and got to page 50, then got derailed. This one has like polar opinions, but the first 50 pages I read, I really enjoyed. We have Transcended Kingdom. Ooh, this much my, matches my nails. How cute is that? Oh, I love that. <laughs> Anyway, this was a gift from the wonderful Alia, and I'll probably read it next year. That rhymed. Then, Burnt Sugar. This I got mainly for the cover. Hope hopefully, I'll enjoy this. Then, Man About Town by Silas Nyanchani. I've read one of his books before. I liked it, so I have high hopes about this. Renegades. This I got off the streets and uh, I got it at like a hundred Kenyan shillings. That's like 1.3 dollars and I got it because at that time it was like really hyped on bookstagram when I had just joined so I'm not yet sure when I'll ever read it. We have this two that I talked about in a recent video. I'll read them soon. 
we have the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I started this then paused because I started Six of Crows and became obsessed with that. We have the Songs of Achilles. Um, I'm hoping to read this in December, but who knows? You know, December is December. Then we have Women and Leadership. I don't know when I'll read it. Then we have my French books that I got as a gift from my friend who lives in Reunion Island. One is La Vie et en Homme. Uh, life is a novel, basically, or life is a story. So, yep. This other one is Coup de Sahel. I believe that's Sahel's hat. Uh, this true. I, I I want them to be my French books for next year because I take a while reading French books, but I'm very curious to read them. We have In the Palace of Flowers. This was sent to me as an ARC, but when I tried reading it, it wasn't my cup of tea, but I still want to read it and give a review because, you know, they were kind enough to send it. Ugly Dogs Don't Cry. I hope I'll read this early January. One for sorrow, two for joy. This I've mentioned. Black girls must die exhausted. Black girls must be magic. Uh, this I've also mentioned. In every mirror she's black. <sighs> this is one of the prettiest books I own. I got it um, in the TBC uh, launch when they were launching their CBD branch. We are all birds of Uganda. I love the cover. I've had um, conflicting reviews. People either like it or don't like it. So I don't know where I'll fall. And then we have this two that I believe I may have mentioned. Uh, the Chronicles of Chronicles from the Land of the Happiest People. I was just so excited I bought this book. I'm not too sure why. And uh, no, Violet. Bula, Wayo, Glory. This really intrigued me because it's like talking about the government but in animal form. And I just read the synopsis and was really intrigued. This is a book I want to read, but I want to read it like at a time I'm so relaxed. Maybe when I'm on leave so that I really enjoy it because I have a feeling it's going to be good. So those are the unread books on my shelf. I hope I'm not forgetting any. So I'll just put this back on the shelf, then I'll come and show you the remaining books that I can't really categorize and really I don't really care about quite categorizing them. So give me a minute. Guys, I'm going to just be honest, I got exhausted <laughs> of doing this thing because my books were not coming to an end. So let's just end this video there and hopefully another day, another time. I'll probably show you the remaining books that you never got to see this time, but at least you have a rough idea of what's on my bookshelf. Let me know if there's any you spotted and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.